Many in the racing community today were met with the horrible news that Medina Spirit, the winner of the 2021 Kentucky Derby, collapsed and died after a workout at Santa Anita in California. And Medina Spirit had been trained by Bob Bafferts, who had gotten in trouble with Justify, the winner of the Triple Crown a few years back. And then, of course, a positive test result for a banned substance uh, by Medina Spirit uh, for the 2021 Kentucky Derby. So this is highly suspicious that something happened to this horse. Uh, I'm not going to speculate about what could have happened, but I'm going to assume that potentially if there was fault uh, for Mr. Baffert and whoever was taking care of the horse, that they were perhaps pushing the horse too far, not taking care of the horse's health. Uh, after a Breeders' Cup uh, classic um, performance, or that they were experimenting with some sort of substance on this horse, um, and the horse did not respond well to it. Um, I'm not going to say that this was def definite, as that would be slander and something that has uh, not been proven yet, but I'm going to go out here and be the first one to say that this is incredibly suspicious of Mr. Baffert and the California Racing Commission and Santa Anita to go out there and let something like this happen uh, to this horse. And I understand that things happen and maybe it's something it was just a horrible accident. And uh, maybe that um, this was no fault of any human uh, that was involved with this horse. Maybe that's the case. I'm not sure. They're going to investigate it. They're going to do a necropsy uh, on the horse. But uh, basically, uh, a lab in New York that was the investigating what happened at Churchill Downs. Uh, it, the, according to um, Mr. Robertson, basically says that Medina Spirit tested positive for the steroid, and they were able to definitely confirm this, not through an injection, but due to an ointment used to treat skin rash. Um, and that is not good. Um, and basically, at the very least, uh, I feel bad for the horse. It's not the horse's fault. That the horse was found in violation of the uh, of the rules. It's Bob Baffert's fault, and it's the people taking care of the horse. Um, it is really not good to see in this sport, uh, and something that and this happened at Santa Anita, which has had a problem in the past with horses uh, breaking down on that track. So I think that this needs to be thoroughly investigated. Uh, no more second chances for Bob Baffert if he's found at fault here. Um, and honestly, I don't think any more chances for him uh, if he's found at fault for what happened in the Kentucky Derby because you have the thing with Justify, and he's just a highly, highly suspicious uh, trainer, I think. And um, I think that with this, um, with this finding, uh, and if the uh, Churchill Downs decides to remove the uh, Kentucky Derby Championship from Bob Baffert's horse, Medina Spirit, uh, then I think he needs to, we need to look at some a lot of discipline for this man because he's basically scamming uh, a lot of people in the horse industry and he is not taking care of the horses the way in he, that he should. Uh, and I think this is really bad for uh, our sport and I think for a lot of people involved in it and he needs to be held accountable. And particularly if there's something going on here, if they find any sort of drug or anything like that on the horse, uh, it's going to be a major issue, and I would not be surprised if they do, but I don't want to say that, you know, they will, because maybe they won't. Um, so those are my thoughts on Bob Baffert. I had to put out a video. I've been pretty inactive lately, but I had to put this out uh, to talk about this, because I got pretty pissed off when I saw that this horse died, um, whether it was due to negligence or whether it was just a horrible accident that we should all mourn the loss of this um, this this horse that is pretty talented. So that's my views on that, and thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my channel.